record. All right, welcome everybody to Diamond Zone. It is um, hump day, right? Is that what they call Wednesdays, hump day? Okay, getting over the hump. See, that's for the working people. They call it hump day because they got two more days. I, every day to me is hump day. Every, <laughs> every day to me is a birthday. So um, welcome to Diamond Zone, guys. And just so you know, we conduct these every day, Monday through Friday. And it's really for the purpose of keeping people on track uh, to really keep taking the journey and keep going out there and building, you know, if the foundation of your business. And uh, just so you all know, because I did a call with a group yesterday, um, all these are archived. If someone can't be on, you got, if you go to our YouTube page, Giamalva Global, YouTube, G-I-A-M-M-A-L, VA Global, you'll see all these um, trainings recorded. So if people want to know how to do a three-way call, the training's there. If someone wants to see um, uh, the opportunity presentation, it's there. Or how to talk to people, how to do a testimonial, all the things that we cover, if you want to go back and re-listen to them, they're there. So, you know, obviously we love the live calls because it promotes urgency and in my mind, it gets your day going. And that's what I needed. You know, when I, when I first got started, you know, I wanted to make sure I was plugged in. And I was, I'm going to stress that being plugged into the system is really the key to your success. Uh, uh, surrounding yourself with an environment for success is very, very, very important. So um, as we always do, you know, we put the income disclosure notice up. And uh, I think everybody should memorize this. And if you ever do a presentation, remember, we are a company that is in an unbelievable momentum stage. And uh, we want to be a legacy company, guys. And to, to, to ensure that we're going to have um, an income that we could pass down to our kids and to our grandkids, sort of like the Amway concept. You know, Amway is a company that's 60 years old. And they're on their fourth generation of multimillionaires. And that's because, you know, they've dotted every I and crossed every T. But when they first started, okay, it, it was like the wild, wild west. In fact, multi-level marketing is here because Amway fought the battles. And, and this is why we have an income disclosure notice because you will bring people on and there'll be a lot of people that you know, if they don't succeed, okay, they'll blame you for your fa for their failures, and you got to just be very upfront with people. This is an opportunity, and when you show them the income disclosure notice, if that makes them not do it, they were the wrong person anyway. So this is very important, guys. If you start doing your own webinars, or if you're doing any type of Facebook post, okay, and you're making any type of um, well, you can't make income claims, but if you're talking about money, right, or you're, you're promoting the company, you have to have the income disclosure notice. Trust me, this is a great, great, great closing tool to be able to use. So we always start off, you know, every call with showing the income disclosure notice, know it, understand it, and then now you just gotta take your journey. So a couple of things, as you all know, um, we have, um, we don't know this, but if you do, if, if you don't know it, tonight at six o'clock, we do the opportunity calls, okay, for our team every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. <clears throat> Those are open calls. Uh, it's the opportunity call, and we always do a fast start training right after. This is for obviously people in the business, and more importantly, it's for guests. Because we all know we're, we're supposed to be promoters of events. Well, the next big event is tonight at 6 o'clock. Why? Because there's a live Zoom meeting. And um, we are, I'm going to be tag teaming that with Mr. Jeremy Roma. Uh, so it's going to be a great event. And it's going to live in two places. It's going to be on the normal website that we always go to, which is jlworldglobal.com. That's what you're all used to. But also, it'll be forwarded. And if you want to go to helozoom.us, both will be showing um, the live opportunity presentation. 
Along with that, it'll be on Facebook Live. So we know we're gonna have thousands of people on this call. So I encourage everybody to really market it. You know, when you have that type of group on a call, it creates excitement. And as you know, excitement creates decisions. And so I, I, I would, if I were everybody here, I'd be marking the heck out of that call. Okay, next thing. You all know that the pay cycle has been extended. Pay cycle has been extended. So this is a great, great time to rank advance. We're gonna talk a little bit about that today. <clears throat> and then, obviously, for the people that were, are within our group, hey guys, I have open calls. If you wanna be plugged into this, we don't care what group you're part of. This is one team, and, but we do have our, 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 <clears throat> our promotion that we are running for Las Vegas. Um, and that is, if you are a, a team developer, we're having a huge sweet party on Thursday night. Um, I think that is uh, June 22nd, no, it's 23rd, I believe. 23rd, you have to be a team developer uh, to attend that particular party. You don't wanna miss that party. I, we, we know how to party, believe me, it's gonna be fun. And then, of course, if you rank advance, there's cash awards based on your rank advancement, okay? That's, our, that's on Helo Life. Uh, so you can see the different rank advancements and the dollars associated with it. But in order to collect your cash because you rank advanced, because it's going to be given to you cash, you have to be able, you have to attend the sweet party on Thursday night. So attendance is mandatory in order for you to receive your cash. Okay. So we want to make sure that everybody is there. Um, it's the 22nd Thursday. Okay, so 22nd is Thursday. Okay. Okay, Fran knows that because she's arriving and she's coming right to the sweet party, right, Fran? So Fran could get her cash. All right. So with that being said, guys, um, what I want to talk about today, okay, is, um, let me see here. It, it is, and I, we're going to post this. But, um, you know, I was talking to a group yesterday uh, I'm doing these one-on-one um, uh, -on -one calls for people's teams. And, and the first thing I want people to know is this. And I know we talk about this a lot. And, and, that's, and that is the day you started your business and the day you made a decision to really burn the boat. Okay, two different dates. Now, when I say burn the boat, I don't mean that you're quitting your day job and you're doing this full time. I mean, when you burn the boat, you've made a decision that you are going to make this work. And I'll tell you, this, this sometimes is a tough decision. And I'll just give you my story. You know, it was two years before I made a decision to burn the boat. Two years. Okay, see, Lisa got involved in network marketing 24 years ago. And I don't know what it is with my wife, Lisa, but... When she makes a decision to do something, okay, there's, there, there's no like other option. She just does it to do it. And she made that decision day one. So in other words, when Lisa signed up in her first network marketing company, okay, that was the day she started her business. Now me, when I got involved, you've all heard my story, when I left corporate America, and then I had this as my opportunity and I signed, okay? It wasn't the day I signed where I made my decision to burn the boat. I'm in, I'm in, I got the product, I'm using the product, but I didn't make a decision mentally for two years later. Does this relate to some people? Okay, it was two years later before I finally said, okay, I'm gonna burn the boat. And that decision, I, I was helped with that decision because I wasn't taking the opportunity seriously. I was playing multi-level. Okay, I, I was going through the motions, and Lisa knew it. But because she was working the business, there was an income stream coming in. But I was hiding behind her work. And you know what got me to burn the boat? This was our, this was our, my aha moment when Lisa said, if you're not going to take this seriously, go get another job. Uh-oh. 
Because when you get a taste of doing nothing, when you get a taste of doing network marketing, okay, I'm telling you, you become unemployable. So I got a taste of really not doing much for two years. And I was riding on Lisa's coattails until she finally said, go get a job. And I broke out in a sweat. I broke out in a sweat and I said, I can't do it. And so that was the day I really started my business. And so here's what I love about our company. And here's what I love about this industry. It's a very forgiving business. But you're gonna see a huge difference, guys. You will see a huge difference when you make that decision. When you make the decision to burn your boat. And like I said, I'm not suggesting when you burn the boat that you're living, leaving your day job. But you made your decision to burn the boat to start actively pursuing your activity of accountability. Whatever that is. And so your success is hidden in your daily routine. You just got to determine what your daily routine is. I was telling the group yesterday out of Florida, I said, and I want you guys to take this the right way. You know, I talk candidly with you all. Okay. If you can't make this work, I don't know what you will be able to make work. And I mean that from my heart because it, it, I, I, it's hard to even get my arms around some of the success stories that you're hearing coming from this company. And that's because people have a, they have an activity schedule and all they know is they have to get that information into people's hands. And you got to have a consistent funnel and your job. Here's your job. Don't worry about anything else, but filling up that funnel. Filling up that funnel with people receiving the information and let the numbers fall as they may. That's it. That is your job. If you, if you just had that mentality, right, and you knew nothing about wearable technology, you knew nothing about multi-level marketing, right, you knew nothing about owning your own business, but you were good at filling up your funnel and letting the system take it over, you're going to get results. It's amazing. You will get results. So you have to have a daily activity plan, whatever that may be for you. Okay. All you know is this, I got to get that information. So if today is your day that you burn the boat, you watch the results, you will start to get not today, maybe today, but really what you start doing today, you know, when it harvests usually, 30, 60 days from now. Because not everybody falls through the funnel the way you want them to fall through the funnel. That's another big problem. Well, I put somebody in the funnel 10 minutes ago, Jeff, and it's been 12 minutes. They haven't bought their premium pack yet. Really? Think about it. You're throwing people, you're planting seeds is what you're doing. And I, usually what happens is maybe you'll start getting instant results. I'll show you some people will get involved right away, but some people it'll take time to harvest and that's okay. But your job is not to think about that. Your job is just to do what you have to do to reach people. So I have this daily activity report that I want you guys just to kind of look at and I'll put this up so you guys can, if you guys want to retrieve it, but basically it's, it's your goals, right? And, 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 and holding yourself accountable to a daily activity, number of daily incomes, producing activity, producing activities. A producing activity, let me give you an example of what's not a producing activity, okay? Which would be reading how the helo works, understanding your comp plan. Now I'm not saying you, I'm not saying you shouldn't know, but don't fool yourself that if you're doing those types of things, that that's money making activities. That might be an activity for your knowledge. And like I said, I'm not suggesting not to do it. I'm not suggesting not to know your back office, okay? But just understand that's not gonna earn you money. But you should obviously understand what's, what you have available to you, okay? So I hope you understand what I'm saying. But see, these are money making activities. 
okay? There's, you know, you know we have flyers, right? There, there's flyers you can have. So some people like to put flyers out. They like to have business cards, okay? So a, one of the money-making activities you could have is going out there. Let me just mute. You guys make sure when you come on that you're muted, please. Okay, could be putting flyers out. Okay, how about this? Links or email sent? Putting links on Facebook, email sent out, how many per day? What's your goal? If that's gonna be an activity that you're gonna pursue, I'm just giving you ideas, right? Telephone calls made. See, sometimes we talk about it, and I know we talk a lot about text messages because, because we know that that's a way a lot of people communicate today. But some of you, okay, hey, hey Nortons, mute yourself, please. You keep on muting yourself. The Nortons. Norton. What was that movie? That was, uh, uh, what is that? Anyway, Jackie Gleason, that's way back. Okay, so some of you guys, telephone calls made. A lot of you need to start picking up the phone. That same script that we use for the text message is really your phone call. If you have somebody real close to you, wouldn't you want them to call you? Right, you're gonna, I'm gonna show you the mentality today. The mentality is that if you're gonna structure your company, the first 10 people you're putting on each side of your legs, you know how you have two legs? Right, if you haven't filled up your first 20 spots, 10 on each side, okay, with um, personal recruits, you haven't set the right foundation yet. So you gotta understand, the first 10 people on each side, I'm considering your board of directors. Because this is the board of directors that are gonna sit on top of your entire organization. Who do you want on your board of directors? The most successful people you know, the people closest to you, or a complete stranger? See, what I wanted was I wanted people that I was closest to to sit on top of what we're all going to build together. See, that's the vision that I'm casting to my first pe my, my people. These people should be called. Okay, some people, some of you hide behind text or emails. Pick up the phone with some of the closest people. Okay, if, if, if I was out there, I, I could see Carrie. If I was out there and Carrie and I were really good friends, okay, if we were really, really good, you know some people you're really close to? I role play this when I do my meetings. I would call up Carrie, go, hey girl, what's going on? Hey Jeff, what's up with you? Small talk, small talk, small talk. Listen, Carrie, Lisa and I are so excited. Man, we just started the biggest project of our lives. We're launching wearable technology into the market. Have you seen this new wearable technology yet? No, Jeff, what are you talking about? Well, I'll tell you, Fox News says it's one of the top five products for 2017. And we're first to bringing it into the market. Carrie, I thought of you because we've talked about making money together. I'm putting together my board of directors because this is gonna be the biggest project I've ever launched. So Carrie, if I sent you a two minute video, would you watch it? Shake your head, Carrie. Okay, see, look at, look at. <laughs> yes, perfect. I'm not asking you to do anything, Carrie. I want you to watch this two minute video. And I'm gonna call you back and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. And I, and I hang up. That's it. You guys mute me out, please. But you know what? I'm just gonna do it. Bad, bad, bad. Bad people, bad participants. Okay. So that's how I would do a phone call. See, some people, you got to pick up the phone. Now, do you see my message? Uh, I, that was my message. My message is I'm starting, and here, here's what Carrie understands. She goes, wow, Jeff's excited. The biggest project of his life, wearable technology. Fox News says it's one of the top five products. I'm open. And what does he want me to do? watch a two minute video, that's it. So that's a phone call. 
Some of you need to get, don't be afraid of your phones. You've been talking on it since you're two years old. Now when it comes to, right, this business, you don't want to call anybody. Okay, that's a step a lot of you need to start to take. And the whole idea is you're sharing and you're not taking questions. You're asking them to watch the two-minute video. And afterwards, Carrie, I'm going to fill in the blanks. So if I sent you this two-minute video, Carrie, when will you watch it? Here's another step you need to take. And Carrie goes, well, I'm do I'll do it right now. Perfect. Then I'm going to call you in three minutes. Why? Urgency. See, some of you go, okay, you get so excited, you go, they're going to watch it, click. Then you wait two weeks. And I go, I wonder if they watched it. The follow-up, it's all in the setup. So having said that, that's telephone calls made. How many people, okay, if you were, if you were gonna really start a company, which you are, like this is not a real company, that's another thing. Some people don't think this is a real company. This will be the biggest thing you ever do. Nothing could outproduce this when it comes to money out versus your return. Where can you build a multi-million dollar company? Think with no traditional overhead. You gotta understand what you really have here. And you really are putting your board of directors. I'll give you that visual in a second. Okay, contacts made. This could be warm market, this could be cold market. How many people do you plan on contacting every day? Appointments booked to watch the video. See, I have my, I have my, my, my pad out or however you're gonna do it, okay? And what I do is I go this, I go, okay, Carrie, spoke to on 517, told me she would watch the video 518, call Carrie back 518 at 9 a.m. I'm organizing, not just ha haphazard. Okay, send, send Carrie the video next. Where's the follow-up? Now, all of a sudden, my, the next day starts, I go, okay, I gotta call Carrie. Right? You gotta organize yourself, guys. You gotta get a day timer. You gotta let people know. You, you gotta write down who you contact. I don't care, I don't know what you're using. Maybe Franklin Covey. I've been using this now. I just started using this. That's why I knew Fran said, okay, Jeff, do you know about your appointment that you have with Mindy tomorrow? So I went to, look at, I went to my thing and I go, Boom, Friday. Thursday, meet Mindy, six to seven. Is this a novel idea to be organized? Well, that's what you're doing when you're, when you're, when you're, when you're sending out this information. You gotta be organized and have your follow-up plan. Okay, that's what that means. Appointment book, three-way calls. Okay, now watch this. Carrie, call back on the 17th or whatever. I call Carrie back. Carrie, wasn't that exciting? Oh my gosh. Jeff, that's cool. Or how about this one? That's interesting. I'm telling you, Lisa and I are very excited. Listen, here's what I want to do. Okay, since I'm brand new, and I'm just using me as brand new, since I'm brand new, I'm working with some very successful people, one of which is a seven figure a month earner. Okay, and I want to set up a three way call with you. Okay, because I want them to explain the bigger vision of what we're about to do together. Carrie, when are you available for a, a, a 10 minute three way call? I book it. That's a three way call. Well, I could do it now. I got to set the three way call up. See, do you see what I'm saying, guys? You're organizing yourselves. Okay, three way calls with your upline, three way calls with your team as you start to build a group. Okay, I did a three-way call yesterday with a team in Florida. These are maybe team calls, closeout calls, okay? The week is almost over. The pay cycle, the last two days, okay? And I'm calling my group. These are just ideas of what you need to do to stay in tune with what's going on in your business. Closeout calls, welcome calls, okay? If Carrie gets started, Guess what? She's getting a welcome letter and she's getting a welcome call. Now I got to set her strategy. See, these are money making activities. Facebook post, 
Okay, how, how many how many um how many text messages are you sending out a day? How many people did you contact? How many new team members in your team got enrolled last week? Right? Because if I bring Carrie in and Carrie gets her first two people, right? And now Carrie starts to see a team going on, and those two people get their two people. See, she's in tune with what's going on in her business. Why? That's her money. That's her organization. Okay, and then hours working your business. Reverse engineer this. How many hours a day are you going to commit to this business? How many hours a week? I don't know. Maybe it's every other day. But whatever you set, hold yourself accountable. That's all. So that's a, that's a tracking sheet just to show you, okay, just different ideas, okay, on how to do it. And I, we'll put this on Hilo Life so that, guy, that way you guys could grab it. But it's all about being organized. Okay, so I just, I just want to take that smooth. That, now, I, I could train on this for, for three hours, okay, believe me, different aspects of the business. But I just want to give you a snapshot. And the, and, the, and the big point to this segment was this. When are you going to burn your boat? When are you going to finally make the decision to really start doing it? Okay, you might be saying, well, Jeff, I, I, I have made it. Good, good. So maybe you picked up a little nugget here, okay, on some other aspect of the business, okay? Now, once that's done, once that's done, now what I want you to do is I want you to really visualize what your organization needs to look like. Okay, I know you guys have seen this a thousand times, but I want, I want to re-emphasize, okay? Let me ask everybody here, are you a team builder? Have you gotten your first two? Have you did your 450 points on each side? Okay, this is what I'm talking about, making that decision. Because if you make this decision, okay, to really do this, this should be done in 24 hours. I'm a firm believer if the desire is there, the how to and figure it out will come. Think about it. If you ever, if you ever want to accomplish something, did anything stop you? No. No, you're just going to go out there and you're going to figure it out. Well, team builder to me is a figure it out position. I, I just made that up. I like it. I'm going to write that down. Team builder is a figure it out position. That's what it is. It's not like, oh my gosh, how am I going to do this? No, no. It's I got to get my first two because I'm here to build a company. And I'm not going to build my company at 10%. I'm going to build it at 20%. So that's why I always stress, have you ever seen one of my presentations? What do I always say? I showed you how my figure it out attitude worked because I put my daughter Jenna there and my daughter Jessica here. My daughter Jenna here, my daughter Jessica there. Why? I had to get my 20%. And it made no difference. If I had to buy both family packs, I'm just telling you what I did, not suggesting you do this, okay? I would have done it. Because what, what, what was my risk? What, if I, let's just say I bought three premium packs. What's my risk? 18 kilos? Hey, really? If, how am I, how am I going to become a grand president millionaire if I can't move 18 kilos? You, you, you guys get it? It's common sense. It's like buying a restaurant and going, hang on a second. Hang on. I, only know, I know I have 150 tables, but I'm only going to buy enough food for four tables. I'm only expecting four people. We're going to take this slow. Because I can't see myself selling 25 filet mignons tonight. I'm only going to have four. And I'll work my, no, you said, I'll buy the damn food. We're going to fill this place up. Okay, get more vodka. We need more tequila because that bar is going to be rocking. Okay, and you're putting the money out. And over here, we're going, ah, do I, should, should I buy a premium pack? Oh, my gosh. Really, a premium pack? That's six helos. What? I love this conversation. What am I going to do with them, Jeff? 
I got six helos here. Sell them. Really? Are we really having this conversation? See, it, it, we sometimes, I'll take this the right way. We put on our dumb caps over here. In a traditional business, you have no problem forking out the money, forking out all the money, okay, because you have an infrastructure and you gotta have inventory. And you're, you're not opening up that store or that restaurant or a traditional business because you're not gonna make it work. You have to make it work. Well, this is where the switch has to come in. What if you bought 20 family packs? Uh, concept, guys. Well, Jeff said to buy 20. No, I'm not saying that. 20, 20 premier packs. What's 20 times six? You got 120 helos. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do with them? Well, you better move them. Just like any other business. Okay, my point is, tell me you can't get team built. If you're not a team builder, tell me you couldn't get this done today if you wanted to. If you had a figure it out attitude. Okay, now that's the first step. Then you gotta become team developer. Now, now is when you gotta really dig down. Now here's the thing. How many people do you have to sponsor to get them to get their first two? Do we take this like two and I'm gonna teach them how to get two? Well, what if this guy doesn't do anything? Okay, well, I got to keep him in long enough, but would it be easier if this guy wasn't doing anything to maybe sponsor another person to see if he gets his first two? That's why we said you got to have 10 on each side to probably go out there and find your team developers. Not everybody does what they're supposed to do. Duh. Let me ask you, um, is this, these are just real questions. Are you doing what you're supposed to do? Well, you understand that's the nature of the beast. So team developer is teaching two people how to get their two people. And you all know, see it says here, within your first seven days. Because they know someone with a figured out attitude is gonna usually do this. And you hold yourself accountable. Now, here's the deal. Let's say you've been involved for two months, three months, and you haven't done it yet. Who cares? Start today. Make that decision that you started your business today. And you guys, some of you have organizations. Reach out to certain people. Let them know it's okay. Maybe they're beating themselves up. Oh my gosh, it's not working. Maybe they just need a little encouragement call. Touch base. Because what's, what's the worst case scenario? They re-engage and maybe they lead you to somebody that does do it. And I'm not saying, I, I'm, trust me, it's much better to give new birth than to resurrect the dead. Believe me. But at the end of the day, I still touch base with some of my people that are dormant or frozen. Okay? But here's the visual I want you guys to know. This right here. See this? If you're starting your business, remember I said the board of directors? Remember my conversation with Carrie? This is what I'm trying to get her to see. Because in our business, anybody you personally sponsor, right, they go down your legs. So list five here, five here. Picture 10 on each side. Here, let me, I'll just draw the little men. I like drawing little men. I'm a little man drawer, okay? So there's five more here, right? Two, three, four, five. Good visual, right? One, I want you to see this. This is your board of directors, guys. This is who's gonna sit on top of your entire organization. Now you gotta put names to the 10 people left and 10 people right. Because think about it. Aren't you gonna have, did you not get involved, right, to build a very large company? Didn't you get involved? Did you get involved to become a platinum? Or did you get involved to become no less than a, let's just say, president? Let's just use president, okay? Well, do you think to become a president, you're going to have more than 20 people in your organization? You're going to have thousands. Didn't the first 20 people benefit from the, from the thousands that come in after them? That's your board of directors. 
So when I'm calling people, go, listen, listen, I, this one's already taken. This one's already taken. Those are my kids. Do you want this spot? That's available. Oh, that's taken. That's taken. Do you want this spot? Oh, that's taken. That's taken. Would I care where I am in, in this tree? If there's going to be tens of, would you want to be the first 20 people in Amway? Do you think they're benefiting? Would you want to be the first 10,000 people in Amway? That's got to be your mentality, guys. You need to draw out your organization and you need to start putting names to these people. And this is when you'll know you'll have the right structure. Because out of this, out of 10, do you think we're going to get five on each side that becomes team developers? Now you're diamond. You don't stop at 20 now. I'm just, I'm just giving you a vision because I, I don't think very many people here have filled up their 20 spots. Maybe some of you have, but keep adding them. Okay, 20, we, 25, well, what do we have, 70 people, 75? So we got 37 people left, 37 people right. Okay, and you look at where we're at. Are we, are, are we, are, are we where we wanna be? No, but that structure got us to president. Okay, if you look at if you look at Jeremy Roma, okay, same thing. He's got more than he's got more than that. So the more personal sponsors you have on your board of directors, the bigger the organization. So I want you guys to start when you start thinking about the people that you're going to reach out to. Some of these people need phone calls, and I'm telling you, you lead people, but you got to share with them the vision of what you're about to do. And once again, the message is, okay, you started a company. Lose the word distributor. I'm a distributor in this, in this wearable technology company. No. Okay. You started a company within wearable technology, and you're first to bring it into the marketplace. And this is the biggest project you've ever, ever, ever um, got involved with you're working with some very successful people and I'm calling you because I'm putting together my board of directors Do you see the different message? It's not like oh my gosh, I, I just got involved in this little thing and I hope it works Haven't got my product yet Okay, but you know, it, it's I, I think it's gonna be well. It's gonna do well. Will you watch this two-minute video? No, I'm not watching the two-minute video because I don't like what you just told me but if I tell them what my vision is of what I'm about to do, do you see how it betters your chances to get people to look at your information? Urgency. And I told the group yesterday, I told the group yesterday on the call, do you understand <laughs> there's thousands of network marketing companies out there? Do you know what step number two is on every company? Every company has the first two steps. Number one is use their product. Number two in every company in the world is to make your list. Okay, do you think that the same people that you have on your list are, might be on other people's list? Forget about the competition that you may have with other world global network distributors calling your people. Think about the other thousands of companies that may be calling your people. Th this is where you have to play your head game with yourself. That should create urgency. Because if I'm somebody, look at me. Let's just say I'm somebody that just had a horrible day at work. It's been coming. It's been, the, last, the last month has been bad. But today was particularly bad. My boss came in. He yelled at me. He told me about a corporate downsizing that's about to happen. He's not happy with my performance and I'm down in the dumps. Do you think I would care what company and what product if somebody, one of my closest family and friends called me and said I found something? It wouldn't matter what the widget was because I'm open. It wouldn't matter if it was weight loss, skincare, I'm vulnerable. 
And if somebody shares a vision with me, no matter what the product was, if I'm open, I might join their team. Do you follow me? Because I'm lost. There's a lot of people out there that are lost. And you're sitting there going, I don't know. I don't think they'll do it. But somebody else, somebody else who has that same person on their list goes, I'm calling so-and-so. Then all of a sudden, two months later, you call so-and-so. They go, well, I just got involved with, with uh, Arbon. Do you, you, you see what I'm talking about? That's the urgency. So forget about just the competition here. I'm talking about there's people that have your group, your team, everybody on your list is on other people's list. And they could be on your team building you a company. See, this, I'm, I'm giving you little tidbits of what got me moving. Because guys, when I first got started, I lost somebody that went on to build a, law, a very large business in another network marketing company because I said they would never do it. And then I finally called him because he was on my chicken list because he was above me, okay? In my mind, he was above me financially. So I thought, oh, he'll never do it. But somebody else called him. He goes, hey, Jeff, I joined another company and went on to become a multi-million dollar earner in that company. See, these are the games you got to play with yourself. Every person you don't talk to, proven, 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 can cost you from fifty to fifty thousand dollars a month. Every person you don't talk to, because we know on one one leg of business in our other company we were making over fifty thousand dollars in a month. One. What if Lisa didn't talk to that person? Another stay-at-home mom. So she said, "Well, she'll never do it." Well, she did do it. Happened to be in our organization. So guys, this is when you finally go, you know what? I'm taking my business seriously, damn it. I'm going to burn the damn boat. Okay, I'm burning the boat and I'm making a commitment to really hold myself accountable to what I'm willing to do. Not to what Jeff tells you to do as far as, as, far as that, what I'm willing to do. And based on what you're willing to do, we could determine a business plan tailored to you. In other words, if somebody says, Jeff, I'm willing and I'm going to burn the boat to do this five hours a week. And I plan on becoming a grand president, presidential millionaire. I'd say that's not a realistic expectation. Okay. So I will tell you, if the desire is there, the how-to will come. You'll figure out how to take advantage of your break time, right? Instead of doing nothing or your lunch. Okay. Or, or whatever, your drive time. If you really want to figure out, I used to do this with people when it came to workout programs because I would give a tour of the club. I would walk them through the entire club. I'd bring them in the office and guess what? Same objections. Jeff, I don't have the time. And I'd sit there with my notepad and go, okay, let's go through this, Mary. Okay, because you just told me, Mary, you want to lose 50 pounds, but you don't have any time. Mary, what time do you get up in the morning? Well, Jeff, I get up at six. Okay, what time do you go to work, Mary? Well, I don't go to work till nine. Okay, well, I just found three hours. Well, I'm not a morning person. Well, listen, Mary, if the desire is there, the how-to will come. If you really want to lose the 50 pounds, I just found from seven to eight where I could work you out and get the results you want to get. And you still have an hour to shower and get to work. Well, I'm not, I'm not a morning person. Okay, Mary, what time do you get off? Well, I get off at five. Oh, okay. And what time do you go to bed at night? Well, I go to bed at 10. Well, I just found another five hours. Oh, you see? Does Mary have desire? No. Mary's never going to lose that 50 pounds. Okay, same thing. You, you just told me, Joe, that you want to become, you want to make an extra $2,000 a month. Yeah, Jeff, but I have no time. Okay, same thing. Is this not the same thing? It's all the same thing. So I want you guys to get, you need to figure out you first. Because once you figure out you and you make your decision, I promise you, you'll have your board of directors. Okay, I'm done. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. Pack the house tonight. Pack it, pack it, pack it. Remember, helozoom.us or JL World Global. 
Use today to see how many people you can get on the call tonight. Hold yourself accountable. And use that message. Speak with conviction. Speak with authority. And let people know that you are starting the biggest project of your life and you need to get on this call. Watch how people take you seriously. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you.